it's good to join you. Um, as far as I know, the image has been withdrawn because uh, some of the photo agencies have concerns that the image has been manipulated in some way and there are one or two odd features with the photograph and that the news agencies sort of, you know, they themselves want to be trusted and they have very strict quality controls over what images they distribute um, because, you know, outlets like yourselves sort of want to be able to trust um, what they give to you as, as much as the general public. Mm. Well, what questions are being raised about why the royals would even feel the need to edit the photo if that is what has happened? Well, that's what's so odd about this in that, you know, we do get photographs directly from the royal family and they get distributed, um, usually without any problems. And indeed, the Princess of Wales herself has taken photographs of her children that have then been distributed. Um, this photograph was taken by Prince William. Um, maybe his photographic skills aren't quite as good as his wife's, and maybe they went too far in, in sort of editing the photo or something. We really don't know what's happened, and, that, and, that, and that's sort of, it's just an unusual situation, really. And of course, the question that everyone is asking, it, it, it's trending on social media, where is Kate? The palace did confirm the princess had undergone planned abdominal surgery and will temporarily withdraw from public duties until after Easter. It's not Easter yet. Has this not been sufficient explanation as to Kate's whereabouts? Well, this is, I think, in some ways the underlying context in that, yes, we know that she's had a serious operation and that she will be out of action and out of public view until after Easter. But there have been one or two odd things have, have happened of late. Um, Prince William didn't attend his godfather's memorial service at very short notice due to personal reasons. Um, but then we were later briefed that this was nothing to do with Kate's illness or recovery or nothing to do with um, sort of uh, Thomas Kingston, who was the Prince Michael of Kent's son, who died sort of um, rather sadly, uh, suddenly. Um, and, but we were told it was nothing to do with that. And so that, again, raised more questions than it answered, sort of just what was going on behind the scenes. And so to have this other oddity as well is sort of raising questions as to just what what's going on at Kensington Palace. Well, there are questions about the length of time that a, this abdominal surgery uh, would usually take uh, for recovery. What are experts saying about this period? Does it all make sense? Um, it's difficult to say because we don't know any more than abdominal surgery, which could cover a whole, a whole range of different situations. Um, so it, I suppose it does make sense if you if you take a look at some conditions. Um, it may not make sense if you look at others. But again, this is I think one of the problems that, in contrast to the to the king, where we've been told he's got cancer, he's undergoing treatment, and he'll be out of action for the foreseeable future. Um, we just don't have we have some information, but not enough. And and releasing some information but not quite enough has raised further questions and in this vacuum you get social media and conspiracy theories um, and that makes it all the more important to be direct and straight and to you know for the public and the media to have trust in what Kensington Palace has said but they've been acting oddly over the past few weeks. Well, what else could explain her absence, Kate's absence from the public eye since Christmas Day then? I know you say there's been a lot of speculation. Well, I, I wholly believe that it is um, abdominal surgery and, and that, you know, she genuinely has had an operation, has been in hospital and, and all of those things. But um, I, I it sort of... The way Prince William didn't attend the Godfather, his Godfather service was unusual. And then to have this issue with the photograph being a, another unusual element sort of just makes us wonder just what is sort of the true position. And without just a little bit more clarity, 
um, you know, Kensington Palace have got themselves in a difficult position. Um, but of course, there is the, you know, the Princess of Wales absolutely does have the right to medical privacy. Um, so they're struggling to find the right balance and, and releasing this photograph after saying that she was going to be out of the public eye until Easter uh, might have been the best, the worst of all worlds in many ways. Well, as you say, a lot of people would argue that the royals do have a right to remain private, especially about personal issues that are medical or to do with their health. But to what extent? That seems to be up for debate. Just how much should they reveal? Well, yes, it, it's sort of, and I think it, it's where it conflicts or sort of affects their public duties. You know, I think that's, you know, if the princess had just disappeared totally out of view without a statement, then that would have been really the worst of all situations because the, that would have sent the rumour mill into overdrive. So they had to give an explanation as to why, you know, she is out of public view from essentially Christmas to Easter. But in just saying sort of she's had an operation, she's just had abdominal surgery, you know, that has in a sense created another type of vacuum where, you know, maybe just a little bit more information might have just put people's minds at rest. So what should the palace do now to manage the speculation surrounding this published photo? As you say, uh, you know, the less information people get, the more they want to know. Yes, I think we should have an explanation as to just what's happened with this photograph. That would go a long way um, because the whole idea of this photograph was to put people's minds at rest. And then when it comes out that it's been manipulated, well, the photograph can't do what it was meant to achieve. And so I think it would make sense to just explain what had happened here, say maybe that it had been um, you know, manipulated or doctored and that went too far. And, um, you know, and maybe just give a roadmap as to the princess's recovery and, and maybe confirm when she will be seen in, in public again. Last week, we had uh, the British Army publish details that she would attend Troop in the Colour early in June. But that was not, not announced by Kensington Palace and the army withdrew that. So, you know, again, that's another odd sort of thing to have happened. And, and so, you know, that's what's making people ask questions here, because the way the royals do all this thing is usually just like a, a serene ship, that everything is just set out. It's clearly sort of established what's going to happen and when. Um, and this sort of these odd things with Prince William not attending an engagement at short notice, the issue with Trooping the Colour and now this photograph, um, you know, you are getting questions just what is happening, um, because this is all so unusual with the royal family. Things are normally much more structured and ordered. Mm. Really fascinating. Great to talk. Dr Craig Prescott, thank you so much for your time tonight. You're welcome. Thank you.